Hello and thank you for tuning in to Embrace My Melanin. It's your girl Rochelle. And in today's video, as you saw by the title, I am going to be doing a starter makeup kit. But not what I would start on myself. I would I'm doing actually the kit for my younger sister. Now, here's the thing about it. I am the only crazy makeup person in my family as far as I know, in my immediate family at least. My sisters are not into makeup. My mom and stepmother, they're not into makeup like me. I'm the only crazy person that like, that that just has gone overboard to a dangerous realm when it comes to makeup, okay? But my sister, my younger sister, she asked me, she was like, okay, Shell, I want you to start my makeup kit for me. And I'm like, whew, okay. Um, okay, wait a minute now. All right, I can do that. But when I really thought about it, it was crazy how I was like, well, wait, whoa. What would I start on? So these items that I'm about to show you are some of the things that I put in her little starter kit that I'm actually going to give to her within the next few hours because I'm going out of town to go visit her. So if you want to see what I would suggest for someone who wants to start their makeup kit or someone that's dabbled just a little bit in the makeup that but hasn't gone full over the edge like like a crazy person like me, if, if you're watching this, you might be just a little bit on my realm. Like, you know, we, we go off the deep end. Hey, if you want to see what I started for, please keep watching. <laughs> and showing you guys what I started for my sister's makeup kit, I'm going to go in order with what I usually do. But it's not so strenuous as to for it to take up a, a lot of time for her to use. And she could choose to, you know, put in or take out any items that she wants to use. She doesn't have to do it like I do because I get full on, not every day, but full on, and she could just go as she wants to, okay? So the first items that I put inside her little kit, excuse me, it's just rattling over here. I have everything in a small little box. But the first thing that I put inside her little kit, I put in two primers, okay? So the first primer is the Benefit Pore Professional pore primer okay she really doesn't have uh very huge pores or anything like that but i think this is a very nice base for her to get started with now i know what you're saying pause i know what you're saying girl why are you giving her that little sample thing like why, why are you doing that the reason why is because i know my sister has sensitive skin and i don't want to get her a full size anything without her testing it on her skin first to see how it does and then after that if she wants the full size or if she wants me to get her the full size then i will you know so that that way we'll go from there okay so that's also why i chose two but the benefit professionals this is a nice one she doesn't have very large pores but there's a little bit there so i want her to try out this i also want her to try out the benefit excuse me the benefit the becca light first light priming filter i love this primer right here i actually got this inside of a boxy charm box and i had just purchased it at one of the 21 days of beauty uh last year and literally the very next month they had this inside of their boxy charm box so i decided to give her these two just to start off just to see how it does on her skin first okay next up would be the base okay so when i was talking to her as I, I asked her did she want to start with a liquid foundation or she wanted to do just one step up and she said for her the best thing would be probably a powder foundation now i said okay then let's do that okay and as you guys probably if you saw one of my hauls last year or at the no excuse me if you saw my haul at the top of this year it was my very first haul of 2019 I actually picked up the Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation and I picked it up in the shade coconut okay now here's the thing as you can see I picked it up for myself but as you can see this is not even close to being for me and my shade range but since I knew I was starting her kit even then I decided to keep it and I got it for her okay so and this is roughly what her skin tone is 
approximately like you know it might be just a little no i will say this is probably a very good shade for her if it's not then what we'll do since i brought it at ulta what we'll do is we'll just go um to our local ulta and we'll switch it out for her you know since this is her makeup kit <laughs> Also, with this particular foundation, I've heard some people um, on their uh, reviews compare it to the um, MAC uh, Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I believe that's the, the name of it. I heard them compare it to MAC Powder Foundation, and I was I was like, okay, this this if it gives enough coverage, and it does say full coverage on here. If it gives enough coverage, this will be something just enough for her to really, really for her to really like and for her to get some coverage on the face but not for it to be overly just saturated with you know just product you know so i think she'll like this i really do okay so the next product i'm going to be showing you guys that i picked up for her usually i remember when she was um younger and she did say this um earlier that she does do a spot uh, sometimes when she breaks out or there's a little spot on her face or something like that she usually does go in with the concealer so um, just to do a, just a little spot spot coverage that's it so what I did do is I picked her up a concealer that I absolutely love it was my holy grail for last year like one of my top things for last year and I just absolutely love this concealer and that will be the makeup revolution conceal and define concealers I picked up two shades okay the first shade is c13 and then I got c14 I picked up these two shades because they're really close to I'm not sure if you guys can see it okay they're really close to her skin tone so I'm thinking maybe c14 would be probably her shade but c13 if she wants to go just a little bit lighter when she starts learning about brightening underneath the eyes she just might like c13 but i brought up both of these just so she could see which one does best for her but i love this concealer it's affordable so that if she does run out she could go back into ulta pick up one and it won't break the bank or anything like that next up for her will most definitely be lips okay my sister she does not like a matte lip why i don't know she's crazy so i'm going to take her a little bit out of her comfort range and i'm giving her three matte lipsticks okay <laughs> sorry about the cluttering back and forth okay but i'm giving her these three matte lipsticks and these are the three matte lipsticks that i picked up for myself but when i took a really good look at them they were nowhere near <laughs> what of what I would wear. They're just no, just, no. Okay, <laughs> these are the um, ColourPop and Makeup Shayla collaboration lipsticks. We have them in Oi, Quickie, and Come On Sis. Okay, so I decided to pick up these three for her. I think these colors will do very well on her since she's much fairer than me so i think she will pretty much like these these lipsticks they're more neutrals and naturals or whatever so i think she would like i think she would like these okay and this one this come on sis i could probably get a get away with this come on sis but i i, I just didn't like it on me you know personal preference but there you go okay and those are those three right there and next up I got her a few glosses some that I think she will wear and some she might be like no <laughs> I got her some of the Milani um, lip glosses these are the Milani Amour uh, full shine a liquid lip excuse me liquid lip color but they're in the shine because my sister does love a glossy shine lip I got her the shade charming and addictive there are two cute pinky mauve shades okay and I got her one of the um, one of the what they call them the lip the keep it full uh, lip plumper just like me my sister has full lips so she really doesn't need a lip plumper but i don't know i tried one of these before i didn't like it that much but it didn't really plump anything 
no shade to Milani, but it really didn't plump anything. So I'm going to see if she likes this. I just thought the color would be really pretty on her, okay? And I got her a plain lip gloss. Well, this is actually in my, my collection. She used it before the last time she came down here, just in case you'd be like, girl, you getting her stuff from your collection? Listen, she's used this before, okay? She actually used it before I used it. So I said, you know what? She liked it. She'll just get a plain clear gloss and since she basically tore into it before I did, so. Okay, and last but not least, as far as for lips, cause lips is the one product that you can never have too much of. Okay, I got her the infallible, excuse me, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, but I got it in the chocolate collection that came out. I got the, let's see here, the 70% Young, which is a beautiful chocolate shade. Got the um, Candyman, which is this pinky shade, and this mauve almost nude shade. I don't want to open it. It's that pretty shade right there. And this one is in the shade Box of Chocolate, okay? So I think she would like those two. She's very much so a neutral, uh, pinky, nudie lip girl. She likes those colors. If she ever does a pop of color, she... she she really doesn't. She she really doesn't like, you know, the reds and the berries. I'm going to have to get her out of that, too. I should have put a red inside here, but it's too late because I actually need to leave now to go see her. But it's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. Next up, I got a couple of blushes for her. One is the one that I got inside a BoxyCharm box, okay? Uh, don't judge me. I have not used it, okay? This is by Note Cosmetics, and this shade is called Desert Rose. And this is pretty orangey shade right here. I think she'll really like it. I mean, like I said, she's fairer than me. I'll add just a little, nice little flush of color to the cheeks. But I also picked her up, I also picked her up one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios. And I got this in the shade Pink Passion. Um, I will say this though, this will be up on sale um, during the 21 Days of Beauty, okay? I think they're going from $30 to $18. I will say this, before you pick it up at the 21 Days of Beauty, I got this actually, I got this actually at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, where I get it from? I got it from Marshalls, okay? I picked this up at Marshalls. When I picked it up at Marshalls, it was $10.99. Okay, so now don't get me wrong. Going from $30 to $18 is pretty nice. But if you can go from $30 to $10.99, enough set. <laughs> okay, next up, I got her a couple of highlighters, okay? The first highlighter that I got her was the um, Wet n Wild highlighter. Uh, it was a highlighting bar. It's a limited edition item, and it's in the shade Fire. I don't know if you guys could see that. Okay. It's very much so a, a pinky or like, almost like a rose gold shade. I think she'll like that. And also, even though this says this is a baked blush, I would probably say this will be a highlighter too. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Baked Blush and it's in the shade Hummingbird Hype. And like I said, it's it's a orangey, orangey rose gold color right there. And they say, like I said, they say it's a blush. When I saw this, I saw highlighter all day long. So I'm going to give this to her and see how she likes it right there it's it's a beautiful color i just don't see it as a blush that's the only thing with wet n wild the one thing i love about wet n wild is that you can start trying to do your makeup and really learning how to do your makeup without actually breaking the bank look without breaking the bank and having good quality products wet n wild is that brand for sure through and through but here it is I got her this eyeshadow palette. I believe it's called Nude Awakening. 
and there you go I've been holding on to this for a couple of months now when I brought it when I saw it I was like yes yeah, she would like these colors this not too bright or anything like that she's very much so like I said before a neutrals girl so she would love love this palette right here okay <laughs> and for mascara we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, okay? I know what you guys are probably saying. Girl, wait a minute. That is not a starter mascara. That is, what you doing? Like, that is not a starter mascara. The reason why I'm giving her this mascara, I actually gave her a sample of this mascara early 2018, probably January, February 2018, okay? Because she always comes and visits me, and when she does, she's always going through my stash. I gave her a little sample of the better than sex okay and she loved it i mean literally she called me and said oh my god this mascara is everything everything and i'm like mm -hmm, told you boo i told you so when i got this inside of my boxy charm last month the second i saw it the second I saw it in my box, I'm like, I'm never going to get a chance to use it because it's going right in her starter kit. So I'm giving this to her. TT, girl, you better be happy you're getting this because I am so sorely tempted to keep it. So tempted to keep it. Okay. <laughs> okay, but that is all for this video. I thank you for watching. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like me and my brand of crazy, go ahead and subscribe down below. And you guys stay beautiful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.